Okay guys, what's up? I'm going to take you through um, today uh, me restoring an image and taking you through the process that I would go through. Um, it's not a complete process and it's not a given guide for every image you ever do. Although some of the um, properties and some of the things that I do may be transferable across both programs and um, any method that you might do in order to restore an image. This is not a, this is the way to do it. This is a way to do it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to um, grab the image that we're going to be working on today. I'm just going to pull it up and I'm say copy image. So what do I usually do when I um, do this? Um, and who am I to say, or, you know, this is how you do it. Um, I've been doing this now for about, um, about 10 years plus. I started out on a very old computer and I was doing it um, back there. Um, writing pixel for pixel and, and, and dotting it with MS Paint and um, creating um, repairs that way. And then I've come through to um, this piece of software, Critter, which is um, a great little bit of software, which allows me to um, basically create um, great images um, fairly quickly. They don't really happen to, um, to, uh, to worry too much. Sorry, um, one of them. There we go. I all I did there was I went to edit and I went to paste into new image to get it into a new image rather than paste it into the image I had before. Sometimes critter can be a bit um, off putting there. What, what was there was no um, current layers or current documents open up in the um, canvas area or the work area, so it was uh, blocking me from pasting in. To a new image, it only appeared in 4.2 hours, just something to be aware of. Okay, so what I'm first going to do is I'm going to start to take care of um, the damage on this image um, and a little bit of um, image situation correction. Um, first off, what I want to be able to do is pull this image um, back into some sort of um, focus shape so I can really see um, what I'm dealing with. So when I come to that in Critter, what I do is I come in here. And I'm, I'm going to go down to here, I'm going to go add, and I'm going to go filter mask. And the first thing I'm going to do is a HSV adjustment. So I'm going to come over here. So all I'm doing is drag it to one side so I can see what's going on behind. So let's try and keep it in view at the same time. So I can I can see part of uh, the lady on the right here. So that'll be cool. So what I want to do is I want to drag down the saturation completely because I don't want any color in there. Like saturation is your color. Look. This is how much color is. This is how I want all this color. I want this much color. All this color. This much color. We don't want any color in our image at all. We want it to be as black and white as possible. Now, what does hue give us? Should we play around with this? It doesn't give us too much. Not without any saturation. Okay, but what does lightness do for us? Oh, okay. So lightness is going to make the image um, slightly lighter or, or darker. So if we make the image um, slightly darker, okay. Now this is all non-destructive. Um, I'm not affecting the original image. There's the original image right there. So the image is fine. I'm not actually doing any damage to that image at all yet. <laughs> Oop, I did there though. Okay. So what I've got here is the this is the work layer here. You know me, you know I like to label my layers, especially do now. Okay, so here I have got the, um, the hue and sat adjustment. Hue and sat just in ADG. ADG will do this, okay? So there's what I've got on the right hand side. So I've got the working layer and I've got the hue and saturation adjustments, which is just basically doing that for us right there. Okay? So as you can see now that's pulled it kind of nicely back to us and we can begin to um see a little bit more of the uh of the details of both the people okay so we're kind of happy with that next thing we're going to need to do is start to look um at some of the damage points and thinking about whether they're going to be in our new image or the not because people usually want the image to come back in the same and print size if possible. Sometimes it's not possible due to damage, and um, sometimes it's not possible um, due to the um, 
the nature of what's in the background and you're unable to draw it. Um, so I'm going to try and produce what's called a, a studio shot out of this um, to give you um, a bit more of a a way round of um, looking at what you were trying to do if you're trying to position an image. So I've got this right here. Next thing to do is to go ahead and um, find out exactly what I need to repair. So I'm having a look around and I'm thinking, okay, what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to get rid of that in a second. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to need to do is repair these um, small dots here and then this one here. Um, there is some um, small amount of damage up here, but I'm thinking by the time I reposition and pull out the image, it will probably look a bit different. Um, but I know this one's going to be troublesome right here. Okay, so if we've done something like this, that's not a problem. But we're going to come down, come down to our razor tool right here. We're going to select out a razor. Okay, we're going to grab our paintbrush. We're going to select that layer, and we're just going to rub all this area right here, anywhere up here. Make sure we get rid of um, whatever was on that layer. Now, if you want to see whether we've got that, we all we can do is we can hover above this here. We can say, oh, we just missed a bit. It's around about there. So go back to here. Okay, so we, so we appear to have gotten rid of it. Let's have a look. No, oh, it's still there. That's silly. We just got rid, gotten rid of that. Ah, that's the one on the uh, on the filter layer. That's okay because we don't care about that. Right. So we did actually we did actually get rid of the one on this layer because now you can see it selects around the image and it's not selecting um, anything that's off to the right there. All we did is on the um, on the filter layer it's still there. So what we want to might want to do is go ahead and recreate that layer in a minute. So I'm remove that layer for a second. Um, gonna take our uh, transform tool, select it, rotate the image. So the um, stairs are pretty much running left to right on our image. We're going to grab this corner. Sorry, we're, not, we're going to set this to 50% first so we can see um, behind it. We're going to put the position it so the boy's and the grandmother's head. Sorry, I apologize. On or the female's head there is, is kind of not necessarily in a line, but um, well fixed. So we've got plenty of space above them and plenty of space below them. We're then going to grab this corner, we're going to hold Ctrl and Shift to keep it in shape, and we're going to drag it out until the woman is on to the right hand side of the image, and then we're going to drag it upwards and try and center everything right in the middle. Okay, so we've got plenty of space to the left and to the right to make it nice and comfortable. So if you ever put this in a frame, there's still going to be a bit of picture on the outside, and that's exactly what we want. Okay. So we're going to drop that by selecting the brush tool and then we're going to set our opacity back to 100%. And now we're going to see exactly what we've got. Okay, got that nice image. Everything's working out. Looking real good. Come back in here. I'm going to add that um, filter mask back in. So remember this filter mask we set up before? So you're going to see it set up again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the uh, saturation down to zero because I don't want any colour. The hue's not really doing a great deal for us with no colour. And then I'm going to adjust the brightness down ever so slightly. So we can see a bit more of the details. Okay. And say OK to that. Right. And then I'm going to go in again. And I'm going to say I need to add a new filter mask again. Okay. Except this time I want you to go to colour adjustment. Okay. Now what we're going to do on this layer is we're going to adjust the high and low tones of the of the actual image in order to be able to pull it together. Um, so what I want to do is I want to constrict the camera because what's happened at the moment is called um, a washout. It's basically there's too much light in there and the uh, the people have been washed out by the um, <clears throat> the overwhelming amount of light and even the shadows themselves have become dull because of it. So what we need to do is first off is we need to bring those shadows back back to life. So how we do that is we can either take this um this dot right here and we can move it up this side. And that's just going to brighten the entire image. Oof. Well, that's not quite what we want to do, is it really? We want the dark to stay dark, but we want need to make these extra little bits um these areas here darker than what they are in order to give us a bit more definition. How do we do that? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this space up in our minds. We're going to say, okay, well that's a whole one, whatever, divide it into two, it's there, you know, 
or you can see quite clearly by the grid behind it. But I don't want to quite go um, all the way to this. I'm just going to go, if we can divide that up by um, say one, two, four. Yeah, so we divide it up to five and we say one by one in five. So it's about here. And then we're going to drag this down like this. Okay. So as you can see, the uh, the boy's um, face is coming into focus a bit more. Okay. So we're going to drag it down till we're happy. And then we're going to drop it. Okay. Now our light tones also are being affected by this actual image itself. So we might want to go ahead and then adjust those so to do that we're just going to do exactly the same thing we're going to grab this one and then we're going to build our bring our light tones down a little bit in order to match in now if we want to go ahead and adjust them make sure we get right on the dot just adjust them until you're happy now they'll adjust the curve of everything else in between them so if i want the image to be more lighter overall i'm going to come this way but I'm going to be looking for the details. So I'm looking at this um, this boy's left eye right here. Now watch when I drag it to the right. See it becomes more defined. And drag it to the left and it becomes more bleached out. So I want to get it to the midpoint where it's it's there but I'm not too dark with it. Okay so. Come in and bend the middle of the light. Keep bending, keep bending. We're going to find a way. We're going to find it. And I think. It's going to be around about there. Okay, so now that's allowed us to balance the image and really get um, all of our lights um, working together. If we want to now, don't forget, we can come back to our previous layer, right click it, properties, and now we can come back in here and now we can adjust our brightness so we can say, okay, let's get a bit brighter with this. That image is getting far too dark. Where we come in, we've made our brightness a little better. I'm going to say, okay. So there we go. We've adjusted our brightness and we've got our, our image balanced back in again. So we've really done no adjustment really yet. All we've done is just rebalanced our image. We presented it in a nice pose. We seem to have got a lot of detail back by adjusting those light tones in within the image in the grey tone. So I'm just going to check on the time for us there. Okay, so yeah, we've been running for 12 minutes. So that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it up there, guys, and I'm going to send, come back to you with a second part video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell um, in case that you want to keep up to date with anything that's coming out. Um, I'm going to make, to make this over about two or three parts rather than having to sit through a four half an hour video day, 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 at the same time. So there, I'm going to call this image preparation. So once I'm here, I'm going to be begin the uh, the repair stage. So we finished our preparation, and now we're at the repair stage. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.